I feel like we should get into if you only knew questions. So these are just rapid fire questions. Are you ready? Rapid fire. Here right, it is. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Favorite car today? Uh, my Renault 5 Turbo 2. It's a little French car that uh, I imported here in the US. Uh, it's, uh, it's a very special car. There's only 200 in the world. So I've got number 200. Of 200? Yeah. Way to go. Yeah, thank you. What's your favorite vintage car? Uh, my Mustang 68 Fastback. Yeah. I think I heard a story that your grandfather had one. Yes. And he drove it through Paris and you got one as well. Yes. And you got it redone to look exactly like your grandfather's yes. car. What happened is, is uh, I heard this story about my grandpa's Mustang since I, when I was a kid. He always had a Mustang and we didn't have Mustangs in France. My grandpa was the only one with a Mustang in our area and that was very unusual. He imported it. Um, so I always dreamt about a Mustang. And then when I came, came to the US, my first thing, my first car I was going to buy was a Mustang. I wanted a Mustang. I ended up with a Ford Taurus. Right, it uh, happens. You know, Yeah. didn't have enough money then. Right. And, uh, you say Mustang, I hear Ford Taurus. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, but with my dad, we researched my uh, grandpa's uh, Mustang. We found it. Somebody owns it in France. It's change color, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> but uh, it's pretty cool. Biggest regret? Uh, partying too much with my friends when I was 18, I missed out on, a, on a, a big opportunity in racing. The last time you lost your temper? Um, Las Vegas. Yeah, I remember that. What happened in Las Vegas? Well, <laughs> Jeez. May have, had, uh, may have had the wrong kind of alcohol in me. Okay. Yeah, maker's yeah. mark. Mm -hmm. Always not good. You no. just got You got to be like me. You got to just stick to the white wine. That's when I learned. And then fall asleep. That's when I learned. Yeah. So lost my temper. Yeah, it was weird. I don't get violence at all. Okay. It's just, I just lost my temper. Okay. Just went crazy. Uh, when you're not racing, <laughs> driver seat or passenger seat? I hate being in passenger seat. I get car sick. You do. Can you me? get car sick? Can you believe it? Yeah, I know. I can't even believe it myself. Yeah, it's horrible. So when we're on a media tour, for example, you know, you get. These, um, you get in those suburban cars or yeah. whatever, and they're really soft. And they always sit me at the back, and I always get kind of sick. So if I look at my phone, I'm not gonna have a it's good over. day. Yeah, yeah. What's the best piece of advice you've ever gotten? Um, it was my um, good friend Gilles de Ferrin, a fellow racer. Um, he said to me, You've got to make your bad days look like their regular days. That's when you know you've done well. What's the worst piece of advice? Oh, yeah, I remember. Uh, be careful in turn one in Indianapolis. Mm -hmm. When I first raced Indianapolis in uh, 2012, my first oval race, everybody kept telling me, oh, you see, it's crazy in turn one. You know, you get the draft, the car goes so fast, it's crazy. So I listened. My first lap in Indianapolis in 2012, I was, I was last. That was a bad idea. I should not listen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that the strategy you have going in? I know we're doing rapid fire, but that's just, you have to have a strategy with your whole team before the whole race of how you're going to drive. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I tell them my approach uh, so they know how to strategize uh, it, with, with my driving. Yeah. So cool. <laughs> okay, now we're going to go into some, like, we're going to do some, like, American things versus some French things. So you're going to have to help me along the way, I I'm think. Gonna, and I'm going to say it really slow. I'm so from American now, so that should help. You are. You're from North Carolina. Yeah. Which is pretty American. Very. Like, full yeah. on. Full on South. Yeah, full yeah. on Southern guy. Here. Southern, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so Southern. Southern. That was pretty good. That was almost convincing. Almost? Yes. Yeah. You're getting there. Yeah, try. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do French fries. You're too nice to me. Or gratin dauphin, no? <sighs> gratin dauphinois. Exactly what I thought. Every day. Really? Oh man, that's so good. What Have you that? ever had it? No. So it's uh, potatoes in a uh, sour cream, and then, <laughs> and then on top you put uh, cheese, Parmesan cheese, and different kind of cheese, and you uh, cook it in the oven. Oh, that does sound pretty. It's good. amazing. All right. Yeah. All right. Let's do apple pie, or tartin tartin. Tartatin. Yes. You said it. Tartatin is a, is a pie that's put upside down. Because I guess the story of it all is... Um, oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah. The story of it all is... Uh, it must be Mr. Tatin. I don't know. But, or Mme Tatin, I guess. I don't know. But um, the pie was presented and it fed. Um, ah. And when it fed, it was upside down. But people ate it and it was beautiful. So 
now it's presented upside down. I bet it's, I would love that crust. I bet the crust on the bottom is my favorite part. It's, it's good. It's really good. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.